Before we officially start our most awaited event, let us first offer a moment of silence for Recording our prayer in progress. to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Welcome to the first day of the first International Conference on Humanities, Education, Sciences, Management, Engineering and Technology, or HSMIT, 2021 with the theme, Accelerating Research for Resilient and Sustainable Global Community in the Midst of the Pandemic. Good morning. Once again, I am Darl John Medina, and I will be the Master of Ceremony, and I will be joining you in this prestigious event. Please take note that we are live on the official Facebook page and YouTube page of MRSP NCR and GSREO. For everyone to have the best experience and convenience during this event, we would like you
Starting off with PUP Graduate School Research and Extension Office, PUP Graduate School, Van Lang University, MRSB NCR Chapter, PUP Open University, PUP College of Engineering, PUP College of Science, PUP College of Computer and Information Sciences, PUP College of Arts and Letters, PUP College of Sciences and Development, PUP College of Education, PUP College of Communication, <coughs> PUP College of Business Administration, PUP College of Political Science and Public Administration, PUP Institute of Technology, Mechatronics and Robotics Society of the Philippines National, Lyceum of the Philippines, University of Laguna, Isabella State University, Far Eastern University Institute of Technology, University of Perpetual Health System Dalta, University of the East Caloocan, Technological University of the Philippines Taguig, Polytechnic University of the Philippines Paranaque, Institute of Computer Engineers of the Philippines Singapore, St. Michael's College of Laguna, Universitas 17 Augustus 1945. And again, welcome everybody and I hope you'll enjoy this event. So welcome us with his opening remarks, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to Dr. Arvin De La Cruz, the conference overall chair, chief of PUPGS Research and Extension, and the president of MRSP NCR chapter. Dr. Arvin, the floor is yours. Thank you, Daryl. So to uh, the PUP president, Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, to the PUP vice president for academic affair, Dr. Emmanuel de Guzman, to PUP Graduate School Dean, uh, Dr. Elmer De Jose, to the Dean of the Faculty of Technology and University Board Member, Ban Lang University, Vietnam, Associate Professor Dr. Lee T. Kim On, to the Head of International Cooperation and Scientific Research Develop Department and the, the Director of the Institute of Cultural Heritage and Development Study, Dr. Ngo Ming Hung, to the president of the Mechatronic Robotics Society of the Philippines Incorporated, Engineer Marichel Teoganco, to all the international resource speaker, partners, collaborators, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful morning to all. On behalf of the International Conference on Humanities, Education, Science, Management, Engineering, and Technology, HSMET 2021 organizing team, it is my honor to welcome you all to HSMET 2021 by a virtual session. With this year's themes entitled Accelerating Research for a Resilient and Sustainable Global Community in the Midst of the Pandemic. As we embark on the Eureka of this HSMET, as it celebrates the first virtual international conference this 2021, it showcased an open and infinite possibility in millennial technology, together with the change from IQ only to an IQ with EQ and SQ. This defined the Society 5.0, Industrial Revolution 4.0, and Education 4.0 relate to the fast-changing world we live in. And together with this, we will make a resilient and sustainable world we live in in retrofitting diversified culture. Again, I am happy to welcome you all and hope you enjoy this three-day event. Thank you, stay safe, and God bless. Back to you, Daryl. Thank you very much, Dr. De La Cruz. Now, to give us his warm opening remarks, let us welcome Dr. Elmer De Jose, the Dean of the PUP Graduate School. Dr. De Jose, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, a very pleasant day to each and everyone who is joining us in this conference. We gladly and warmly welcome you in this very first international conference on the humanities, education, science, management, engineering, and technology, or HMS, HSMET 2021, which the Polytechnic University of the Philippines co-sponsors with the Mechatronics and Robotics Society of the Philippines National Capital Re uh, Region Chapter, and the Van Lang University, Vietnam. Warmest uh, felicitations to our university officials headed by our president, engineer, Dr. Manuel M. Mugi, the vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman, the national president of mechatronics and robotics society of the Philippines, engineer, Maricel 
Tiogango, the MRSP MCR chapter president, Dr. Arvin de la Cruz, who is also the chief of the PUP Graduate School Research and Extension Office. Our esteemed guests and collaborators from the Van Lang University. We have with us Associate Professor and President Chan Thi Nidu, Associate Professor Dr. Le Thi Kim On, Dean of Faculty of Technology and Director Board of Council, Dr. Ngo Min Hong, Head of International Cooperation and Scientific Research Department, and Director. Institute of Cultural Heritage and Development Studies, and also Ms. Jennifer Verances, the Executive Officer, International Cooperation and Scientific Research Department. Our eminent keynote speaker for this opening program, Dr. Ars Eko Norsanti, who shall be formally introduced later. I would like to acknowledge also Honorable Fortunato T. de la Peña, Secretary of Department of Science and Technology, who will be gracing our conference on the third day. Our distinguished officials from VLU and PUP, to our partner institutions, guests, faculty members, scholars, researchers, students, and paper presenters, good morning. We're very much delighted by your presence virtually via Zoom and other social media live streaming platforms. The theme of this conference is dubbed as Accelerating Research for a Sustainable Global Community in the Midst of Pandemic. Early last year, the global community suddenly found itself in an unprecedented situation, which has caused debilitating impacts on our economic and social systems. The impact was so severe that until now, many countries continue to struggle to restore stability and revive the quality of life of people. Specifically in the education sector, we educators and researchers are faced with a variety of challenges during the pandemic, but these challenges did not deter us from excellently pursuing our, our academic and research goals. The pandemic has presented opportunities for us to align our priorities and resources, to adapt to the changing realities. As educators and researchers, we were forced to rapidly shift to new ways of teaching and learning in ways that prior to pandemic, we would never imagine that we are capable of doing given the limited resources and time. The pandemic has made us discover our strong potentials to be agile, flexible, and innovative in teaching and research. This pandemic has also led to increased awareness and appreciation of research and has inspired academic and research collaborations among educational institutions at the national and global levels. The HSMED 2021 is actually a product of this collaboration, an attestation that we strongly promote research for a sustainable community amidst the pandemic. The PUP Graduate School initiated this with the idea of providing an accessible, affordable, scientific venue for our students to present their papers in a refereed international multidisciplinary research conference. But other than paper presentation, we saw each as meant as a great opportunity to increase the visibility of our research outputs by publishing them in credible and high impact journals. It was very timely that we have recently entered into a memorandum of understanding with the Van Lang University, which stipulates organizing joint symposia, workshops, and conferences, strengthening research and publications, among others. By partnering with reputable international universities like the VLU, we hope that HSMET will continue to serve its purpose as a source of new information and innovation for us, students, scholars, and researchers. We aspire to have this conference as a sustainable annual event where we could all come together and advance the theoretical and practical understanding of the world around us through research. Today, we formally launch the East HSMET. The seed has already been planted. Your presence today and the knowledge that we will all gain from this three-day conference 
will provide the impetus for a stronger collaboration to further advance knowledge creation and sharing. Let us remember that knowledge that is not shared is a wasted knowledge. Knowledge becomes meaningful only when it is shared with others and is applied for the good of the society and mankind. Again, on behalf of the HSMET Organizing Committee, we welcome you all and express our sincerest appreciation for your participation. Have a lively and meaningful three-day conference. Mabuhay, and thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. De Jose. Now, let's proceed to the inaugural function keynote speech, as I know that you are all excited to hear him. Engineer Muhi is a registered ASEAN engineer and currently serves as the university president of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. He also served as the executive vice president, the vice president for academic affairs, and the vice president for research, extension, and planning and development of PUP. Prior to these positions, he led the PUP College of Engineering as a dean for six years. He is a licensed civil engineer, a professional engineering manager recognized by the American Society of Engineering Managers, part of the Department of Science and Technology, or DOSD, expert pool of accredited members, and a certified resource speaker granted by the Department of Trade and Industry. He also acts as the Director of Metropolitan Manila Industry Energy and Emerging Technology Research and Development Consortium, and is a regular member of the Association of Structural Engineers of the Philippines, Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers, Transportation Science Society of the Philippines, and the National Research Council of the Philippines. His contributions to the field of engineering is fully realized in, ed in the education sector, shaping, molding, and leading the production of industry responsive quality and globally competitive engineers. Engineer Muhi has also been a member of the technical committee and the panel for engineering and technology at the Commission on Higher Education since 2011, providing expertise on various policies, programs, guidelines concerning the operations in higher education institutions. His professional milieu also includes policymaking, urban and regional planning, uh, research and development, and educational leadership. He is also a doctor of technology, pavement, of pavement engineering, obtained his master's of engineering major in transport and road engineering at the Technical University of Delft in the Netherlands, and also a holder of master's in construction manager, management. Again, uh, let us all welcome engineer Manuel M. Muhi for his keynote speech. Good morning, everyone, to Dr. Morconato de la Peña, Secretary of Department of Science and Technology, Dr. Ngo Min Hung, Head of the International Cooperation and Scientific Research Department, and Director of Institute of Cultural Heritage and Development Studies of Ban Lang University in Vietnam, Dr. Emmanuel de Guzman, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Ana Rubiga Pasin, Vice President for Research, Extension and Development, Dr. Elmer Di Jose, Dean of uh, PUP Graduate School, to our uh, distinguished guests and to our attendees and presenters uh, for the first virtual international. Sorry for the technical difficulty, everybody. So we are currently 127 participants. And I know that everyone is excited for uh, later presentations.
Again, this event is presented to you by the PUP Graduate School Research and Extension Office, Van Lang University, and the Mechatronics and Robotics Society of the Philippines, NCR Chapter. Good morning, everyone, to Dr. Morconato de la Peña, Secretary of Department of Science and Technology, Dr. Ngo Min Hung, Head of the International Cooperation and Scientific Research Department, and Director of Institute of Cultural Heritage and Development Studies of Ban Lang University in Vietnam, Dr. Emmanuel de Guzman, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Ana Rubiga Pasin, Vice President for Research, Extension and Development, Dr. Elmer Di Jose, Dean of uh, PUP Graduate School, to our uh, distinguished guests and to our attendees and presenters uh, for the first virtual international conference in humanities, education, sciences, management, engineering and technology. A pleasant day and welcome to this uh, exciting and important event. Research in the Polytechnic University of the Philippines is, not, is an everyday practice. It is widely recognized that the quality of research conducted in an academic institution correlates with the quality of teaching and learning in the classroom. This can be seen with the continuous review of the different curriculum to attune to the needs of the global world and the industry as well. One of the more recent and clearer effect on how research can affect our daily lives was seen during the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. PUP being the country's largest state university uh, by student population, recognizes that research is critical to the country's and people's development. We see vividly how this can better and affect policymakers in their decision making. During the peak of the pandemic, the university committed its academic resources and workforce to be part of different uh, researches that focuses on providing solutions in mitigating the spread of the disease and aiding the adjustment of the people's way of lives. PUP scientists have developed their version of ethyl alcohol in response to frontline health workers' appeals, resources, and workforce supplies, to be part of different uh, researches such as that focuses on providing sizes. solutions in mitigating the, the spread university of the has disease. Also, developed different mode of learning adjustments to address, uh, the changing methodology of teaching and learning across the country to continue mitigating the long-term effects of COVID-19 in communities and the environment. PUP has become more sustainable and resilient academic institution by reorienting the university's policies and decision making by its research and extension services. More of PUP's innovative research projects included establishing a waste cooking oil to energy laboratory on the main campus in Santa Mesa, Manila. This project dubbed a green initiative allows for the repurposing of waste cooking oil which is classified as hazardous waste into energy by collecting, filtering, and converting the waste for use in diesel engine generators, electric uh, vehicle charging stations, and other environmentally friendly applications. In this virtual international conference on humanities, education, sciences, management, engineering, and technology, PUP will once again help our fellow higher education institutions to disseminate original research conclusions, new approaches, and developmental practices.
scientists, technicians, and scholars from all fields of humanities, education, sciences, management, engineering, and technology, and researchers and practitioners from academia and business to discuss uh, state-of-the-art advan advancement in their fields that will address the short-term and long-term effects of COVID-19 in the different disciplines. The International Conference on Humanities, Education, Science, Management, Engineering, and Technology will provide participants with the opportunity to speak with industry experts about the most recent challenges in scientific research, as well as related fields. Leading researchers will also present their groundbreaking findings insights and techniques they use to improve their results. The international conference is sure to generate a slew of new ideas and experiences that participants, whether seasoned professionals or academics, can take away and apply in some way to further their careers. The ICHESMET also aims to bridge the gap between researchers and scholars in numerous fields. A type of long-term thinking led to the creation of this remarkable and one-of-a-kind effort involving professionals from the various fields. We hope that uh, as we open this first virtual international conference on humanities, education, sciences, management, engineering, and technology, you are one with us in researching, hoping, and creating a better post-pandemic world. Once again, good morning. And mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Muhi, for that insightful message. May we now welcome Dr. Emmanuel de Guzman, the Vice President for Academic Affairs of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, to give his message. Dr. de Guzman, the floor is yours. A pleasant morning to uh, everyone. A pleasant morning to everyone. Um, welcome to uh, this uh, research event, uh, which is uh, um, hosted by uh, the Polytechnic University of the Philippines uh, and led by uh, our president, Dr. Manuel Mui, um, in partnership with uh, the Banlan University um, and, uh, of course, their uh, the representatives um, and organized school. It is a uh, um, a great opportunity for uh, the Polytechnic University of the Philippines to uh, team up with the uh, reputable universities uh, in the country and in abroad to. Um, to focus on uh, producing knowledge in um, in different areas of uh, um, sustainable development and uh, resiliency, um, the uh, the pandemic has left in Israel um, a host of uh, um, changed realities that uh, have uh, tested our uh, not only our uh, our physical world, but uh, uh, our uh, social institutions um, um, all the more challenging and in fact uh, crucial for uh, the, um, the survival of, uh, uh, of our uh, physical environment um, to and of course, our uh, social systems and, and processes. Um, it is incumbent upon us, uh, producers of knowledge, to understand uh, the uh, the kind of uh, change that uh, that has been affected by uh, by the uh, pandemic. Uh, research, of course, is always uh, explaining and uh, understanding realities and uh, and phenomena such as uh, to be able to to control um and and what is going to happen in in the future as it uh, explains uh, what is happening 
currently. Uh, we have always been uh, at the forefront of uh, the, uh, the production of, of knowledge and uh, the attempt to understand the social, political, and cultural change. Um, again, um, in behalf of our institution, the Philippines, our partners, um, I I commend this uh, this undertaking, um, and uh, I welcome all the uh, the visitors uh, and guests and uh, the participants. I am uh, very optimistic that uh, this is going to be this kind of uh, this kind of event uh, will be sustained, and uh, we are uh, going to be. Um, producing uh, more and more uh, knowledge and that in this uh, fast changing uh, world um, the, the role of, uh, of the academy is going to be more crucial and, uh, and highlighted. Um, thank you very much for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak before you today and mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you very much, Dr. De Guzman, for that very warm message. Now, to give us her message, let us give a warm of applause to Engineer Mariciel Teocanco, the President of the Mechatronics and Robotics Society of the Philippines, Incorporated. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. So, first and foremost, I would like to greet each and every one a pleasant morning. It is truly Remarkable to see how partnerships and collaborations among different organizations and institutions can do, not only here in the Philippines, but also internationally. The new normal has challenged every institution and organization. That is why it is important that, our, uh, that we do synergizing our talents, skills, and efforts so we can be able to move forward and even surpass our own expectation. This conference spearheaded by the conference chair, Dr. Arvin De La Cruz, is aligned to the mission of MRSP, which is to unite experts, professionals in promoting nation building through the advancement of research and continuous improvement in the different technologies uh, aside from the mechatronics and robotics. So in behalf of the MRSP, national officers and board of trustees, I would like to give my advance congratulations to the whole organizer, to the MRSP NCR chapter, to the Polytechnic University of the Philippines for a, for a job well done. I wish and pray that your passion to deliver quality education, research, publication, and collaboration will continue to overflow. Once again, good morning and God bless to all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Engineer Teo Pampo, for that message. To introduce the keynote speaker for today, let us call Dr. Christopher Satot, Sasot, the Quality Assurance Coordinator of PUP Graduate School. Pleasant morning to everyone. So I have the honor to introduce our speaker for this morning. Our uh, speaker for this morning is an educator and researcher in architecture specializing in heritage management, city competitive advantage, city branding, placemaking, and sustainable tourism. She is passionate educator and researcher who combines passion as a global explorer with academic research and teaching. 
she has been with the Universitas 17 Augustus 1945, Untag, Semarang, Indonesia since 2000 as a senior lecturer and director of research of the Research Center and Architectural Tourism, the coordinator of Asian Architecture Resource Center or AARC, and the director of International Office and Mobility or IOM. Um, she's also a member of the Academic Senate of the University since 2021. She received her bachelor in architecture from the University of 17 August 1945, Untag Semarang in 1995. Her master in architectural engineering and doctor in architecture degrees were awarded by Dipongoro University in Semarang, Indonesia in 1995 and uh, 2018 respectively. She obtained a certificate in academic writing from E.H. Darmstadt, Germany in 2018. She's a member of SAH or Society of Architectural Historians since 2020, AAHM or Asian Academy for Heritage Management since 2019, and IO4 or International Academic Forum since 2018, and professional member of the IAI or Institute of Architects of Indonesia since 2021. She is awarded the UNESCO Research Grant from Korean National University of Cultural Her Heritage twice in 2020 and 2021. She is also, she also received her postdoctoral research grant from the Ministry of Research and Technology, Republic of Indonesia from 2020 to 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ars Eko, Nursanti. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Okay, I'm a bit morning, nervous. Morning, ma'am. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous because uh, so many uh, great people uh, come here, but I really exciting because I have a new networking, a new friend, great friend, uh, great, uh, com uh, so many combination uh, education that we have. Uh, but actually, uh, uh, everyone can hear my voice uh, clear? Yes, ma'am, loud yes, and clear. Uh, we can um, hear you. Yeah. I'm a bit uh, uh, worried about the networking, so I will share uh, my presentation so if I uh, have any problem but I really hope no problem anymore but if I have any problem with connection everyone can uh, open the link and download the presentation the powerpoint with my voice in there so any anytime anywhere you can uh, check it so I will share first uh, the, the link Okay. Uh, I think uh, I have a uh, time duration is uh, more than the others. So uh, if you do not mind, please feel free to stop uh, stop me if you feel uh, I'm a bit uh, slower or a bit faster. So I can uh, enjoy this discussion with uh, with the like a. Uh, Like I make a discuss in the coffee shop with all of you. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay, I will start. So I hope uh, there is no problem about connection. So I will uh, play the presentation. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Connor Santi from Indonesia. Uh, from the University of 17 August uh, 1945 from Taksmarang, Indonesia. 
Um, I'm an architect and my research focuses on the competitiveness of places and cities using their authenticity values or the city's DNA. This time I will carry out various steps to carry out a combination of research in my field and yours, all of you as organizer and provide a big topic at this conference. One, Mapping disciplines to uh, the concept of comprehensive understanding. Three, the cultural heritage as assets for the competitive advantage in overcoming the pandemic. Five, the role of holistic education. Six, targeting resilience and sustainability. The first diagram describes the relationship that exists in the design of architecture, which consists of an object, then the object is in a place or a building. On a wider scale, the buildings are in a city. In short, uh, architecture concerns human and their lives while objects, buildings, and cities involve natural science. I think this diagram is able to give a clearer picture where the relationship between my research in the field of architecture with the big dumps in uh, this conference. The second diagram illustrates the existing structure where humans are in a building in the form of a box and the building is in the universe, which is uh, its uh, environment. This diagram is my finding, which has been officially registered with the copyright of the Ministry of Law of the Republic of Indonesia. <clears throat> this diagram is named uh, Butterfly Mamoli. The basic shape is divided into two, the left and the right wings. Uh, Makes it look like a butterfly, right? Mamoli is the name of a jewelry motif from the island of Sumba in Indonesia, which uh, symbolizes that life that uh, comes uh, comes from women. The holistic concept of using the butterfly mamoli method is to look at the architectural objects that I described in the previous previous uh, slide. By paying attention to the left and right wings of the butterfly. These two butterfly wings walk using the structure of the human brain, which, as we all know, the right brain deals with the emotional problem and the left brain deals with the rational things. Every object, uh, like a building and city, is constantly undergoing process, process that have occurred in the past, present, and future expectation at the same time in a rational form built or destroyed according to efficiency needs. And on the other hand, built or destroyed using the emotional side in the form of beautiful memories, love, and affection. And hope in the future for a better life, of course. This diagram is the result of my research that uh, illustrates the power of a heritage to share the, uh, the nucleus of an atom that is always moving and keeps the larger life inside alive and alive. I did this research in the city of Chirabon in Indonesia. Uh, you can see there are two wings which are also found in the city of Chirabon. The right wing is an architectural group that deals with the memory and beauty of the life of three palaces that were founded in uh, 1430 and still have relics to this day. Uh, the left wing is a place that become an architectural group related to the ability to grow a business center, which uh, of course is maintained uh, until uh, today because it involves the ability to, 
to earn regional income, providing material benefits for the ability to build the city of Chirobon. The following are pictures of the nucleus and atoms in the city of Chirobon, which have been revealed in the previous slide. This uh, red painted house are buildings in Trusmi village whose construction and maintenance process are still using traditional methods and rituals since uh, 1481 until now. Adjacent of the village of Puyutrusmi is the Trusmi Batik village where the batik artisans still produce uh, using their traditional equipment as illustrated in the photo of a woman weaving a cloth. Outside this Tusmi village, we will find that heritage houses and the houses of, of the general, uh, general public who treat batik using uh, an online system and period by the younger generation uh, generation then set by set with the residential houses as well as sellers in online shop that i told before we will find a row of modern shop sets as well as sales centers and um, some boutiques that have complete facilities as a trading center these photos so three palaces, then one uh, like a study place for the royal sons, which is able to give an idea of the uniqueness of an authenticity that has existed since uh, 1480 until today. The fourth key point which unites this research is to return to the atomic diagram where the productive living heritage is based on strength, resilience, and sustainability. Meanwhile, the key of creating a productive living heritage is through a holistic education system. Ladies and gentlemen, I will show you a short animation from my research in the city of Surakarta, or usually we call a solo city, but uh, government have a, has a name, uh, the Surakarta city in Indonesia. Uh, this short animation which describes the synergizing process of the city's diversity. First, I will give an illustration that the city of Surakarta or Solo was formed in 1745 uh, through the displacement of the previous uh, palace, namely the Kartasura Palace. This displacement, this displacement form, uh, this displacement forms a new space that extends in the form of new petrifers by the displacement process itself. This new street forms new space that from the start function to support the existence of the palace. For example, a place for employees who work as palace staff, uh, religious groups who work as supporters of the king in upholding the religious function, and artists uh, who provide their function as an uh, entertainment group who create beauty and happiness on the other side of a society. Uh, it is on this road that zones A and B in this uh, animation uh, are formed. The, the, the zone E and zone B are formed, which uh, still have authenticity to today, to this day. And then, while Zone C, we, we can see in this uh, animation, uh, Zone C is in new areas that appear naturally as a need for modern city development. However, for the Surakarta city or Solo city, the new uh, the newly formed C area still reverts to the authenticity values that uh, that have existed from the regions A and uh, B. So, diversity is very important factor for sustaining the competitive advantage. 
The animation is an example from a heritage to Surakarta showing the synergy of the different types. The, uh, the E, zone E, original area that remain authentic. The B is transform area that maintain its original authentic, even not really have uh, very authentic in a uh, shape and uh, function. And then the C uh, is a new area that develop new authenticities. So the synergy can happen because of knowledgeable, skillful, and ethical people who can act as a catalyst. The catalyst either to conserve or to develop their city. Holistic education is uh, totally of affect. Um, intellect uh, and then combined with the psychomotor it's about skill attitude uh, of education and then the next uh, university education is a problem-based learning and is a problem solving training and the next university education needs to develop both student holistic health, holistically and the need of change uh, pedagogic, the need of changing pedagogical paradigm from teaching to learning. Implementation of a blended learning method and flip classroom instructional strategy uh, should be combined uh, in um, all the education system today. So, the targeting resilience and sustainability, uh, everyone know. The targeting is about 17 uh, sustainable development goals, like everyone know. Our cities that we inherited from the past generation shall be healed from all harmful problems. And the heritage potential must be developed to optimum level. So we can pass our cities to the next generation in better shape. We will emerge stronger after a pandemic and the new normal. If we have a new generation who love their city, dares to change the status quo, able to fulfill all of the sustainable development goals with their youthful idealism and energy. Uh, following uh, Nelson Mandela, uh, we believe that education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change not only the world, but the survival of our civilization. Finally, uh, this is the conclusion. The past is the heritage of today. And today is the heritage for the future, right? Heritage for the future generation, not belong to our current generation. Right. So the survival of the future civilization and our planet Earth depends on our action today. I really hope everyone agree with this conclusion. So we will have a better uh, generation in the future. Finally, I uh, should so say thank you to everyone for uh, watching uh, my presentation and then uh, I will uh, I will put my word. <laughs> this is the my popular word that I uh, I, I use. Yes, sorry. Oh, problem. Finally, uh, so say thank you to everyone for uh, watching uh, my presentation, and then uh, I will uh, I will put my word. <laughs> this is the my popular word that I uh, I, I use uh, every time with my student, with my partner about the uh, conserving heritage is like carrying your old, weak, and sick grandma. But losing her is like losing our spring of wisdom and love. Thank you, everyone.
Okay. I think uh, uh, that is my presentation. I still have much time, but the presentation is, I really hope we will be make a inspiration to make discuss between uh, your expert and everyone expert, and we can do something together to make a better life in the future, to make a better uh, heritage for our next generation. Thank you, everyone. That's my presentation. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, Dr. Architect Eko Norsanti. Now for the of There we go. This certificate of recognition is awarded to Dr. Architect Econ or Santi in grateful acknowledgement of his or her distinguished invaluable service rendered as a resource speaker at the first virtual international conference on humanities, education, sciences, management, engineering, and technology 2021 with the theme Accelerating Research for a Resilient and Sustainable Global Community in the Midst of the Pandemic, held on 26 to 27th of November 2021 via Zoom, signed by Professor Dr. Elmer De Jose, the Dean of the Graduate School of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Associate Professor Dr. Lee T. Kim Ohn, Dean of the Faculty of Technology University Board Member of Banlang University, and Associate Professor Dr. Arvin R. De La Cruz, Overall Conference Chair and the President of MRSPR Chapter. Once again, thank you very much, Dr. Architect Echo Nersen. Thank you, ma'am. And now may I call on Dr. Arvin De La Cruz for further announcement regarding the first HSMET 2021. Thank you, Daryl. So before I, I discuss the process of the technical sessions, I will just uh, first play for play the, the video presentations of the, the conference. Mm -hmm. But let me share it with you.
Allow me again to acknowledge and give thanks to the following universities and colleges present in today's meeting. Starting off with PUP Graduate School Research and Extension Office. PUP Graduate School. Van Lang University. MRSP NCR Chapter. PUP Open University. PUP College of Engineering. PUP College of Science. PUP College of Computer and Information Sciences. PUP College of Arts and Letters. PUP College of Sciences and Development. PUP College of Education. PUP College of Communication. PUP College of Business Administration. PUP College of Political Science and Public Administration. PUP Institute of Technology. Mechatronics and Robotics Society of the Philippines National. Lyceum of the Philippines, University of Laguna, Isabella State University, Far Eastern University Institute of Technology, University of Perpetual Health System Delta, University of the East Caloocan, Technological University of the Philippines Taguig, Polytechnic University of the Philippines Paranaque, Institute of Computer Engineers of the Philippines Singapore, St. Michael's College of Laguna, and lastly, Universitas 17 Augustus 1945. Again, thank you very much for the universities and colleges present in today's meeting. Thank you.
Thank you, Darrell. So I will just uh, be presenting the requirement for the processing of the technical session. So let me share. Okay, uh, these are the requirements and the procedures for the presentations. Okay. Uh, all tracks will be open 11 a.m. But since we have an early uh, program, uh, you could be, uh, you could, after my presentation, you could transfer to um, your specific room. Uh, the moderator and panel will manage the technical session from 11 a.m. onwards until the end of the last presenter for today. So as in the posted in the video presentation a while ago, there are different uh, number of papers to be presented per track. All papers are given eight to 10 minutes uh, live presentation or pre-recorded on the specific paper and five minutes uh, Q question and answer. And then the schedule of assignment of specific room. So we have humanities room. So each is met paper 101 up to 1023 except 1019 and 1021 which have been transferred to education track. And then we have um, ed under education, so we have HSMET 2001 up to 2014, including the two that I've uh, mentioned a while ago. And then we have sciences, we have 3009 up to uh, 3001 up to 3009 for management track one. Only uh, papers under HSMET 4001 up to 4020. Management track two, HSMET 4021 up to 4035. You will be entering the science room. Again, I repeat management two, HSMET 4021 up to 4035. You are to enter the science room. Since after the science room, uh, the panel would be entertaining management track under HSMET 4021 up to 4035. And then um, the engineering room would be HSMET 6001 up to 6020. And then we have technology HSMET 5002 up to 5021. So if you would observe, these are your sequence according to the presentation. So if you would observe also that there are numbers that is missing from the range of numbers because there are uh, rejected papers also. And uh, also there are um, uh, papers that have been withdrawn based on the HSMET account, uh, in the Easy Chair HSMET account. Now for the criteria, you would your paper and the presenter would be evaluated accordingly. So the, these are the criteria. So for the research paper, you will be will the panel will be looking into relevance of the topic to the team of each SMET, that's 25%, content of the presentation, 25%. Um, organization of the presentation, 20%, relevance of the research approach and methodology, 15%. Overall impact of the research, 15%. For the presenter, you will be graded or scored by presentation style, 30%. Verbal interaction, 25%. Communication aid, 25%. Overall impact of the presentation, 20%. Okay, so let me just view the list of uh, papers. So I'll be sharing uh, it's, uh, our website is always updated. You could check it out. So even the Zoom, Zoom account link is uh, posted in the website. So you, you should always check your, the HSMET the website, uh, www.hsmet.com. So below in the uh, procedure is the track uh, assignment. So we have this one, the humanities. These are the list of papers who would be presenting. Um, it's starting 11 a.m. So every 15 minutes, there would be a next presenter follow until the end of the presenter. And then we have the education track. And then we have the sciences track, the management one track. And then we have the management two track, which is uh, would be combined with the sciences because right after the sciences, there are eight papers in the sciences. 
it would be uh, continued by management to track starting 4021. And then we have the engineering track. And then we have the papers under technology track. So just uh, bear in mind to always check the website because we are always updating the website for the whole three-day event. So if you have problems, you could communicate as, with us at um, uh, hsmet at gmail.com or jsreo.pup at gmail.com or mrsp.ncr.eh at gmail.com. And don't forget, um, when you post your picture in your Facebook, don't forget to have your hashtag, hashtag hsmet 2021, hashtag Araldiwa project. Hashtag GS Radio Goals. So those are our hashtag to connect your profile uh, posting uh, in lines with the uh, HSMet 2021. You could also go to our, our respective photo booth that will be discussed later on by our uh, Master of Ceremony. Thank you, Daryl. Back to you. Okay, while, while we're waiting for Darrells, uh, let me play the again our ABP for this event for the benefit of those uh, those uh, participants who failed to, to watch the video. And also don't forget to register at our attendance link posted in our chat box. And uh, please use our Zoom. Uh, background for your backgrounds uh, so that uh, when you try to go to your photo booth and on your presentations, it's affiliated with our event.
there we go. So for those who want to have their memories, bring back memories, bring back you, you may go to our photo booth uh, on our breakout rooms or one of our breakout rooms. And that booth would be open until 3 p.m. today. So again, if you have or if you'll post your photos, please use the designated hashtags. So we could easily see you or like your photos when it comes out on, online. So again, uh, good luck and... Recording stopped. Good luck to our participants and presenters later. And I hope you'll have a blast in presenting your researches. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daryl. So uh, we are requesting all the panel, uh, panel member and moderators to go to their respective um, breakout rooms together with uh, all the presenter participants. So we will be uh, having an early start. So uh, it would be based on the queue also. But if there, uh, the first uh, presenter is not around yet, uh, we will go to the next queue. So thank you. And uh, I hope you and congratulations for an early congratulation for you for presenting your paper here at HSMET and will soon have its publication. Thank you. You may go to your respective room already. Thank you.